in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. Tingle, tangle, jingle for the boat. And once he gets a welfare check, y'all him kiss my mistletoe. What kind of a bootleg Santa Claus carries a garbage bag? What? You see? That's why all you get for Christmas is hard black coal and bubble gum. You guessed it, motherfuckers, it's that time of the year. Cuba Claus is up in the place. And this is the holiday video sponsored by MaxAroma.com. MaxAroma for all your fucking fragrance needs for when you want to spray your balls this holiday season. But I ain't the regular Santa Claus. I still got the fat belly. I got some whites in my beard. My man tits hang just like kids. However, I got the Cuban chain hang with the gazelles on and my ho ho hoes. I keep them close. In this video, I got some fragrances that I feel for the holiday season. You always got your work party. You gotta give something to your uncle that you only see twice a year. Grandpa needs a little loving. Your pop dukes, if you know him, We'll need a little something something extra too. Maybe you can get some unisex shit and split it with your wifey like I do. It's really a gift for you, boo, but it's for you, bro. Rather than making this video super long, let's roll my motherfucking music and let Cuba Claus show you what's on his Cubano gift guide. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C3U to the B to the A Claws. And I'm bringing you a handful of fragrances that Max Aroma has been gracious enough to offer discounts to each and every fucking fragrance in this video. Well done. It is the holiday season. We gotta spread my Christmas cheer all over your face. And that's what I'm doing. You're welcome. This time of the year makes me feel jolly, all happy, all jiggly in the ball sacks. And I'm gonna bring you some amazing fragrances from all price points that I think y'all bitches should get your hands on for yourself or for other people that you just wanna get rid of. The first one, this one just tugs at my heartstrings just because the numbers on it are 212, which are the area code from where I reside. This is a 90s throwback that just brings me back to a time where everything was amazing. Society was not so fucking sensitive. We used to turn up and crack jokes on each other without somebody going home and crying to mommy. Your pops would slap in your face and be like, yo, man up and go punch him in his jaw. Oh, the good old days, back in the days when I- The fragrance that I'm talking about is none other than CH212 by Carolina Herrera. This fragrance by Alberto Morillas was way ahead of its time. This to me smells like a toned down, less expensive version of Montau Santal Wood. Don't tell anybody because I love Santal Wood. Santal Wood is on some next level shit, but for the price point that Carolina Herrera 212 CH Man is, what CH Man provides to you is a delicious fresh lavender with some musky spiciness, giving you a little ginger peel, like the joint when you go to the sushi spot, but the hood one, I got that extra pickled ginger, you know what I'm talking about? This is fire. Rep the 212 and go check it out on my gift guide. Next one. We are switching up the price point on this one because this one is a mass appealing monster that needs no introduction or no breakdown because if you don't know, <laughs> you better Google the shit. It's none other than Creed's Green Irish Tweed. I had to put Green Irish Tweed on, why? Because there's some OGs that will consider this a staple in their collection. There's some young bucks that ain't up on this shit, which you must be bugging. Everybody needs a Green Irish Tweed in your collection. One of the most amazing green fragrances in fragrance history. This one is a staple in everyone's fucking collection and you need this in your stash. So if I can get you a little discount, why the fuck not? Go to Cuba's gift guide and check Green Irish Tweet. I don't even need to give you the no break on this because this is a monument piece. Next one. At the end of the day, not everybody got a Creed budget, baby, but we all got a budget for Hunter Intense by our Moff, AKA the Club King for the Young Bucks, AKA the Dior Savage Assassin, AKA with a sprinkle of Invictus, AKA, I don't understand this bottle. I never liked the bottle. Our Moff's bottles are just shit, 
but the juice is loose up in here. This is one that you can definitely spray on your sack and panties will drop. They will go and put their schnoop on your tea bag. This is an amazing nighttime fragrance to go out and just get that shorty that you've been wanting to wrap up for Christmas. Check it in my gift guide, next one. This one right here is one of those unisex ones that you can give to a loved one, male or female, or you can buy this one for your spouse. So you give this to your wifey, right? You give it in her stash, she's like, yo, this is like the highest end of the highest end. She's like, oh, bye, I love you. She gives you the booty, right? So after that, three days later, you go into her stash, you spray this in the winter time because this is where it's at. It's Initio's Blessed Baraka, not for Mortal Kombat. When you want to talk about a delicious amber and vanilla concoction with some wood undertones to break up that masculinity, Initio's taking motherfuckers by their neck and choke slamming them like The Undertaker. One of the best amber vanilla fragrances I've smelled so far. And that's saying big talk, fam. Blessed Baraka by Initio. Not a cheapy, but an amazing, amazing gem for you refined motherfuckers. Find it on the gift guide. Next one. This one right here, personally, I think is one of the most underrated Versace fragrances in the game. Fuck old fresh. This one needs its own pedestal. This one is none other than Versace. Man, the purple beast. This motherfucker right here is a delicious Cuban cigar concoction, mildly boozy, very adult, sexy tobacco. This is one of those inexpensive fragrances that have the tag on it. So when you give it to somebody or a work, one of those secret Santa shits at work, and they see Versace on it, they're like, oh shit, yo, you my man's B. I didn't know we was cool like that. Ha <laughs> ha, we not. Pick this one on the Cuba gift guide. Next one. I know we got some serious fragments here that, you know, really need some refined, dark, mature fragrances. And when we are gonna talk about that, we are gonna talk about this motherfucker, Sleeping Giant. Memo African Leather. I'm 14% African, don't fucking judge me. I talk about buttery leather, the type of shit you bought at Delancey Street from the dude in the back of the minivan who rolled up and had some fake Armani tags, but the leather was official tissue. Leather, vetiver, musky, light spice, performance and projection beyond belief. Last time I wore this, which was a couple of days ago, was about 14 hours on my skin. And the shirt that I was wearing still smells like the motherfucker. I use cheap deodorant, so it's probably still smelling like that. But listen, no judgments here. Gorgeous presentation, damn near tribal. This shit might come with a blow dart, who knows? Check it on my gift guide, cause this one is fire ya ya. Next one. Mm. Drink interlude. And the final gem that I got in my stash is a secret weapon. I kept the secret weapon for last because not many motherfuckers is up on this shit. And the ones who know are in the know. If you saw my last Ajmal video, you know what a groundbreaking amber fragrance that was. But there's another hidden gem in that fucking Ajmal family. And that's Hatkora Wood. AKA, God damn. Winter, watch the fuck out. That's what we're going to call this one. With the word wood in it that wood though, you can already anticipate it's got a delicious sandalwood and some oody qualities inside of it, right? But what if I just throw a little peach vibe to you and a little citrus to cut through the sweetness of the peach? How are you gonna feel about that? Then we keep it a little robust and sexy with a little rose and then ginger spice. And then we sprinkle a little saffron, ambergris and lavender here just to put a combination of a fucking grenade in this fragrance. Winter is here, ladies and gentlemen, and you do not want to pass up winter without smelling this motherfucker by Ajmal. Hidden Rocket. Just put this shit in cock back and let it blow. And that's it, you beautiful motherfuckers. That's my Cuba gift guide sponsored by Max Aroma. Y'all bitches better click on the link in the description, go to maxaroma.com and pick any or all of these fucking gems because I said so. And you know this nose never lies, kid. Everything else, yeah, but I plead the fifth, sixth, and seventh. I never been locked up, I swear. But I do want to thank Max Aroma for helping me to help y'all get a little discount on this holiday season. Everybody's trying to get a little coin cut. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Cuba Coos Day. That's not even a word. But we're going to make it a motherfucking word. Go to MaxAroma.com and check out any of these fragrances. Buy one or all of them. Oh, this could be an amazing starter kit for your stash right on your ensemble piece. You got the clubbing. You got the dark. You got the leather. You got the retro. I mean, come on, baby. I'm hooking you up with an arsenal of fucking gems. I love y'all motherfuckers and all these joints as ball sprays, but we're not doing that right now because I got to go re-up on my whiskey. Cuba Claws is out, y'all bitches. You already know what time it is. I'll see y'all hoes next time. Smooches!
Fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough rugger than Broadway, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Ay. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Ay. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>